This summer, my wife and I were lucky enough to visit Scotland. While there, we swung by and spent a few nights in Edinburgh. We stayed in a hotel right off of the Royal Mile, which is the road that connects the old Edinburgh Castle to Holyrood House. We absolutely fell in love with that city. So to help remember it, I decided to CNC carve out the city's roads and cast it with resin. A few months ago, my parents had a black oak tree fall down in their yard. Whenever we were cleaning it up, I saved a few of the limbs and cut them up into slabs on my bandsaw. To make this project even more unique, I decided to take these slabs and work them and use them as the base for our map. In this part of the video, you can see me working the boards on my jointer planer to get three sides flat and ready for the glue up. In case any of you are wondering how much dust is created by doing this, let me show you. And just so you're referenced, this is about yay full. Lots of dust. So to create this map, I went to Snazzy Maps and they have a function in their program that allows you to see all of the roads in black and white. So it was really easy to get a black and white image of Edinburgh to use. Once I had that black and white image, I took the image into Inkscape and created a vector file of it. From Inkscape, I took the vector file and I put it into my CAM program. I created the G-code path using Easel CNC and threw it up on the CNC machine. Unfortunately, during the job, I had a little bit of problems with my GoPro, so I lost a decent amount of footage in between of the project starting and finishing on the CNC, but you get an idea of what's going on. As you can see here, I take the belt sander to the sign at this point and start removing all of the rough edges and loose material, and then I get in there with some hand sanding and really get everything clean. I really need to make sure that all of the cuts that I made are clear of debris before I put on the resin. Whenever I use any epoxy or resin on a project, I almost always use art resin. Art resin says that it is food safe, and since I do cutting boards or cheese boards or bread boards, whatever they use the boards for, since I do a lot of projects that may have food on them, I usually use art resin. Um, to make the different pigment colors, I just use food coloring since it's also food safe. After the resin is good and mixed up, I just take it and I pour it on top of all the cuts that were made by the CNC machine. The key is to not get any air bubbles in it or as few as possible whenever you're pouring it in. And I also use a generous amount of resin whenever I do this. After I get the resin all in place, I tap the board just to make sure I can get some big bubbles out. And then to get all the fine bubbles out, I take a torch to it. And the torch just makes the resin thinner, which allows the bubbles to come to the top quicker. Now it's time for the most difficult part of this project, removing all of the resin you don't want on the project. So to do this, I take the belt sander, I put on the most coarse grit belt I have, and I just go to town. And then after I finish with the belt sander, I go at it with some hand sanding. I think I got up to 220 grit on this. Now that I've got the surface of the map finished, I just need to go take it to the table saw and square off the edges. Now it's time for my favorite part of any woodworking project, applying the stain. So for this I'm just using some clear polyurethane and applying it generously on. My wife and I are both really happy with how this project turned out. She's already got it hanging up in the house. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.